Hello, so we have already started a new inclusion to A level physics 970 to syllabus and the section was astronomy and cosmology. We have already covered the section standard candles in which we have studied point one, two, three, and four. Now in this video we are going to study stellar radii and we are going to study that the Venus displacement law to estimate the peaks of the temperature of a star, Stefan Boltzmann law, and we are going to study them combined to estimate the radius of a star. So let's start. Venus displacement law, let's see the definition first. Venus displacement law states that a black body radiation curve for different temperatures will peak at different wavelengths that are inversely proportional to the temperature. Now the key term over here is black body and we will also study the mathematical form from which you will get clear idea about this definition. Now what is black body? Black body is considered as a star, a hot star which will absorb all incident electromagnetic radiations which will fall on it. Now let's see the dependence of the hot body on temperature, wavelength and the intensity. For a black body, if the surface temperature increases, the lambda decreases and the intensity increases. So let's develop a formula for it. We can develop two proportionalities from the above dependence. The number one is the temperature is directly inversely proportional to the wavelength. So from this we can say that lambda t would be a constant. Lambda t would be a constant and the value of the constant would be 2.9 into 10 repar negative 3 meter kelvin and we have developed a formula for this other formula or relation we could develop is that temperature is directly proportional to intensity this relationship lambda t equals 2.9 into 10 repar negative 3 is known as the Wien's displacement law. Now let's see the graphical representation of Wien's displacement law. Let's say I assume a graph of intensity versus wavelength and we already know that temperature is inversely proportional to lambda and temperature is directly proportional to intensity. Let's assume a random, cu random curve at a certain temperature. This curve is at 2000 Kelvin. So now, if I increase the temperature, let's say to 4000 Kelvin, this maximum temperature increases. So the temperature increases, the lambda decreases. So this value of lambda must shift left. And the value of intensity, the temperature of increase, must increase. So the value, the maximum point should be over here. And that is how our curve would look like. We further increase our temperature to 5000 Kelvin. Further, lambda would decrease and intensity would increase. So our maximum point would be somewhere over here. Lambda have gone to left, decreased, and intensity have gone up. So our curve would look like something like this. Now let's move on to Stephen Boltzmann law. Let's move on to the definition first. According to Stephen Boltzmann law, it says that the total radiation emitted by the black body is proportional to the fourth power of the absolute temperature. Let's move on to the formula. It says that L, the luminosity or the power of a star, is equal to 4 pi r square, the surface area, 
of the sphere multiplied by sigma multiplied by absolute temperature T raised to the power 4 where R is the radius of the planet and T is the absolute temperature and sigma is 5.67 into 10 to the power negative 8 so what we can say is that the luminosity is directly proportional to the temperature raised to the power 4 and luminosity is directly proportional to the radius raised to the power square. Now let's combine the Wien's displacement law and the Stefan Boltzmann law to determine the stellar radii. So this is a two step process. Step number one is we have to use the Wien's displacement law to determine the temperature of the star and step number two is we need to use the temperature in the Stefan Boltzmann law and calculate the radii of the star. So this is a two step process to calculate the radii of a star. Let's see an example. It says that the surface temperature of the sun is 5800 Kelvin so the temperature Ts is given and the wavelength of the light at peak intensity is 500 nanometers so the lambda s is given the wavelength at peak intensity for cyrus p a white dwarf star is 120 nanometers so the lambda w is given the luminosity of this star is 0.056 times that of the sun so that means that the luminosity of white dwarf is equals to 0.056 six luminosity of sun and it says the luminosity of the sun is 3.83 into 10 to the power 26 watt so what we can do is plug in the value and find the luminosity of white dwarf so what our objective is to find the radius of the sirius b the white dwarf star so let's move on to step number one let's evaluate the temperature of the sirius b or the white dwarf star it is lambda t equals constant so what we can do is write an expression lambda s t s equals lambda w t w let's plug in the values and find t w that turns out to be 24200 kelvins and now it's time to find the radius of the service p using stefan boltzmann law we would be using the formula L is equals to 4 pi sigma r square t raised to power 4 making r the subject of the expression that becomes square root of L over 4 pi sigma t raised to power 4 now we have the luminosity the temperature and we know the constant sigma just plug in the values and find the radius of the series p star so the radius of white dwarf star is 9.4 into 10 to the power 6 do bear in mind that it is same almost equal to that of earth but white dwarf star is not as luminous as earth because of its small surface area